Bonjour Leo and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot reading um, for October. So I hope you are all doing well. I have split my deck into three piles as always. So you've got the major arcana here for the major energy of the month. Over there you've got the court cards to see how you're advised to show up to maximize the energy. And down here we've got the minor arcana to delve into the message. Uh, if you're interested in the cards I'm using, they'll be listed in the description box below. Now, as always, I'll ask that you please remember, those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody, so take what applies and just drop the rest. So what is the energy for my Leo Querence for October, please? So your main energy is Temperance. And obviously I will um, delve into the cards when they are all out. So let's see what court cool cards you're going to get. And you are advised to embody the Knight of Cups energy. All right, let's delve into your messages. Oh, too many cards. We have the Five of Cups, followed by the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords, Two of Swords, Ten of Swords, that's a lot of Swords energy. Are you up in your head at the moment? And the Two of Pentacles, you've got two Twos. Okay, bottom of the deck, which is the energy working behind the curtains that you're not seeing, is the Eight of Pentacles. So let's talk about this energy around you. The Eights represent advancement in the Tarot, and Pentacles is Earth energy, so this is to do with the physical realm. So it may represent your career, your job, your financial assets, education, you know, developing your skills or your home. The Eight of Pentacles um, talks about working diligently, you know, applying yourself, developing your skills, working hard and being successful. It's a, it's, it really is a, a card of uh, talent. It's, you know, honing your skills and it's obviously, you know, they're on display, the coins here, to show you that, you know, what's been produced is of high quality. So there is um, this energy around you of, you know, applying yourself and I'm not surprised to see this energy right here because it it requires a level of patience when you are working with the eight of pentacles energy and your main energy right here is the energy of temperance which is the card of patience temperance talks about uh, obviously patience as I've just said but moderation in everything no excesses um, also sometimes talks about Alchemy, you know, mixing two substances to get a brand new third component that you didn't have before, which obviously requires, again, time, patience, effort. Um, so I see October month being under this kind of flag for you uh, and, you know, requiring it from you, a lot of um, self-control and, and patience, and not just patience with others, but also patience with yourself is what I'm hearing. And in order to maximize these energies, you're, you are advised to embody the traits of the Knight of Cups. Now, there are no genders attached to these cards. Um, obviously, we're talking about the energy of the card. Now, the Knights represents taking action, things moving forward. So you are advised to have an active role, not a passive role, despite the fact that patience, moderations are in order for you this month. And cups represents your feelings, your emotions, your intuition. It's water energy. So the Knight of Cups is 
a character who's in touch with their feelings and who know what's going to make them happy. Um, they hold that cup. This is the cup of happiness right here. And they take action towards it. So this represents what will make you ultimately happy and taking concrete steps towards it, you know, looking for that level of happiness um, and obviously taking action, as I've just said. So we have the Five of Cups and the Two of Swords, and I, I can see why you are looking for happiness, you know, taking action towards something that will make you happy, because you've got the Five of Cups, and the Fives are change or challenges if you work against the change, and uh, Cups being feelings and emotions, this is an emotional challenge, so some things hurt you. Now, an emotional challenge can range from sadness, regret, disappointment, upset, um, you know, maybe thinking that having had illusions, you know, not having seen what things were for what they were basically, having been duped is what I'm hearing. And this is supported by the Two of Swords. Now, the Twos represents decisions, uh, crossroads, duality. Um, source being the mental realm represents thoughts, knowledge, truth, communication. This is somebody who's not making a decision because they're protecting themselves. You can see the protective stance with the swords. So it could be because you feel you don't have enough information to make a decision, you don't know all the facts, or it could be because you're protecting yourself because you've been hurt. And no judgment there, okay? I totally get it. You know, you've been hurt, so you're refusing to make a decision to move forward, even if it's not a question of making. A choice it can just be refusing to move forward because you've been hurt and you're protecting yourself and it, you know it takes time to reopen your heart when you have been hurt um, which is why I'm seeing this eight of Pentacles which is about working diligently patiently and I did say you know with the temperance card with the level of patience required it may well be that you require patience with yourself um, the card of the Knight of Cups obviously uh, incites you and invites you to take action towards your own happiness, but patience with yourself. Now what I like to see is that you have, you know, here the 9 and then the 10, you have progression here. So we're still in the swords, you're probably very much in your head right now, <laughs> as I said, when I saw the amount of swords coming up. The nines in the tower represents achievement, but in the mental realm, it's overthinking. It causes stress, anxiety, worries. You know, when you play the same story over and over again in your head. So if you have been hurt or something disappointed you or you have regrets, you've got this in your head and you just, you know, you just can't stop thinking about it. And it's because something ended. The tens are completion, end of a cycle. And the tens, generally speaking, um, bring about a sense of relief because, particularly with the Ten of Swords, because it's in the mental realm, this is accepting what happened for what it is and letting it go, being in total acceptance and just letting it go. is that relief, the burden is lifted so that then you can move forward. Um, and, you know, it's about getting out of your head and as I said this is not an easy thing to do I am definitely not saying it is and that's why I was talking to you about having patience with yourself and and working diligently um, on this because this is going to be some healing that needs to be done and uh, with temperance it's about moderation it's about patience taking the time to rebuild yourself so that you may drop um, your guard when you're ready. And then you move on to the Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So you have, it's interesting, because you've got two fives supported by two twos. Um, I see patterns very, very clearly here. Um, the Five of Swords, so this is a change, obviously, in the way you think, because this is the mental realm. And it's a very important change, because you've been hurt. And this has, um, or disappointed, okay, take what resonates, or you've got regrets. And this has put you in a position of protecting yourself, protecting your heart, which is what I'm really hearing. This is saying, open your heart, go for what's going to make you happy. 
but you are in a position of you know overthinking continuously what had to end what disappointed you what uh, made you feel sad whatever the case may be the regrets you have this is saying you're going to change the way you look at things um, and you're going to start thinking about yourself first I'm hearing this loud and clear because the five of swords uh, sometimes people say oh you know it's people taking victories unfairly on people I don't see it like that it's a change in the way you think and you have been uh, for some of you you may have been abused I had to say it it's been repeating in my head and you know if I don't say what's in my head then it comes back <laughs> So some of you might have been abused, some of you might have been taken advantage of, and this could be in business as well. It doesn't have to be in a romantic relationship. It could be even in friendship. But you could have been duped in business. Um, and obviously, you know, this is absolutely devastating. Um, and this is you thinking differently and looking after yourself now, whether it's in a relationship or in business, whatever the case may be, in your career. And, um, you know... It's a breakthrough. It really is. It's a breakthrough. It's like, you know what, I'm not going to stand for this anymore. And this is supported by the Two of Pentacles, which is weighing up your options in a very practical manner, because the coins energy represents Earth energy. So it's, you know, as I said, with the Eight of Pentacles over there, it's to do with your financial assets or your home life. But it's looking at things, weighing up your options. OK, what do I need to do now in order to move towards what is ultimately going to make me happy um, but doing this from a very pragmatic point of view so moving away from this place of you know being hurt having your heart really unhappy and being blocked to having a, a change in the way you think and opening up to you know practically looking at how you're going to move forward now which I really like to see and remember it's all about being patient with yourself and doing things in moderation no rash decisions is what's being screamed in my head um, you know thinking about things carefully considering the future in terms of your ultimate happiness not the ones of others is what I'm hearing so I'm going to um, get a final card to close out your reading so can I have a final message for my Leo clearance please and you know, Leos, you you have a very, very big heart, and I wouldn't be surprised if someone took advantage of that. I I've, I know a lot of Leos, and they're so loving and generous. So there you have it. <laughs> I don't like generali generalizing things um, with zodiac signs, but my experience of Leo people is that they are very, very kind and generous. So. Okay, I want to grab this card for you. The Four of Cups, so emotional stability. This will be yours, this will come back to you. Um, the Four is strong foundation and stability, Cups is emotions and feelings. So once you have that shift in the way you think and you look at things from a very grounded point of view, you will regain that place of um, contentment, of stability emotionally, which then means that you can move forward, which obviously is, is very important. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. If you did, or if this message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful month, and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.